Okay, I want to do a brief demonstration of using my iPod to do a scan. So I'm going to click on this. I have an app. This app is called uh, Tiny Scan. And you open up, these are my previous works. You click here to add a new scan. And what I'm going to do is go to this document. And I might want to go sideways to fit it in better. And you just hover over it, which hopefully you can see. And you capture an image of it. And once you've captured that image, all right, shows up in here and you have some little corners that you can adjust if you don't do it incorrectly to um, meet the corners of the documents where you want it to be. So you go there and there and bring this one up to there, say. It's a little tricky when I'm trying to film it. But what this does is take something, maybe you've got a bad angle, or you've got it irregular, and that box goes around it, and you say next, and it kind of shapes it in a square. So then you save the document. Now you look at it, it looks kind of fuzzy. You have options down here that say, um, Black and white, photo, grayscale. I'm going to try grayscale and see how it looks. Go to photo and see how that looks. Photo actually br brings it kind of in color. All right. And I'm going to like save the color. I'm going to say save. All right. And I can save the document with a name. I'm going to call it, I'm just going to call it SWE certificate. SWE test for this purposes. SWE test done. Alright, um, you want to rotate it, I think, holding it like this. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And then it says I can put it in uh, open in Dropbox, say. Open in uh, Dropbox. Alright. Uh, sweet test. Let's put it in our sweet file somewhere. Back. I have a lot of places in Dropbox, obviously. Ness. And uh, I don't know. You guys got a lot of things in there. I'm just going to leave it in Ness. Choose folder sweet test PDF. Save. And then if you were to go look there, it should be there. Let's go open it up and see what it looks like. Let's go to Dropbox. Let's open it up. And you can see. So the quality of this isn't necessarily as uh, great as I would like for um, our website, which is why I'm scanning documents. But what this is really excellent for is uh, our documents that are quite large. And I'll show you an example of it in my article. Um, I have a scanner. But, um, you know, if you're working with a document that's bigger than the size of your scanner, uh, these iPad apps are actually quite good. So, uh, so that's my little quick demo, which I did just to um, add to my December 2013 newsletter article for Tech Tales. Thanks.